Hi, my good people. Welcome to today's math class. Look at the question before us here. We have m to the power of 2 minus n to the power of 2 plus 6m equal to 0. We are told that m and n belong to a set of natural numbers. So how do we solve for the values of m and n here? So again, we take our solution without much introduction here. So our next. Now, look at this question here. The first thing I'm going to do here is to, what to add my to both sides of the equation. So this will now give us m to the power of 2 minus n to the power of 2 the plus 6m plus my equal to 9. Because we're adding 9 to this. So we can rewrite this as a 3 to the power of 2. So this will now give us here m to the power of 2, the minus n to the power of 2, the plus our 6m, the plus our 3 to the power of 2, or to 9. So let's look at this now and see if we can bring out our special algebraic identity from here. I want to bring this, this, and this together and see what this gives us. So here we're going to have m to the power of 2, the plus our 6m, the plus our 3 to the power of 2, the minus our n to the power of 2 equal to 9. Look at what we have in here now. We can marry this together to form a special equation from this. Okay, so this will give us here our m the plus our 3 out to the power of 2, the minus n to the power of 2 equal to 9. If we open up this here, it will give us what we have in here. Okay, so since we have this, what comes to mind, we have difference of two square here, okay? Whereby, we, if we have our x there to the power of 2 minus our y, sorry, here we have y, please. So y to the power of 2, this is equal to bracket x plus y, bracket x minus y, right? So this is a difference of two square here. So let's look at this and rewrite the whole of this in this format here now. Okay, I want to write this in this format because our x here is everything we have in here, then our y is this, right? Okay, so if we have this, so rewriting this expression here, this is going to give us here a bracket, we have here m plus our three, then plus n plus bracket bracket m the plus our three minus n plus bracket equal to our nine here so we can rewrite what we have inside here so this now implies that our m plus our n plus three plus bracket the bracket our m the minus n the plus three is equal to our nine here so let's continue this side of the bird and see what this gives us here. Okay, look at this now. How do we deal with this now? Yeah, we have to split this now into its multiples. Okay, again, we'll be told that um, we have our M and N belonging to a set of natural numbers. So we consider the positive of this guy here. So now could be split into, we have um, 1 times 9 and we have 9 times one, then we have three times uh, three. So these are the only case scenario we can uh, have from this system here. And if you look at the equation, definitely this is greater than this. True? Yeah, our M, you have here our M, the plus our N, the plus three, definitely is greater than our M minus N plus three. So if this is greater than this, so we have just um, just this option here to consider. Sorry, this option. We have only this option to consider here. Because this will be rejected. This will be rejected. This will also be rejected. So this is the only one that will be accepted. In other words, we want to equate this to 9. Then equate this to 1. Because of this condition here, we cannot, this and this cannot be equal. Because if we take this, it means this and this are equal. But because of this, it cannot be equal. And again, we cannot say 
um, one, this, uh, this very one equal to this is bigger than this, equating this to this. No, it's not possible. So this is the only accepted one. So this now implies that our m plus n plus 3 is equal to 9, and our m then um, minus n plus 3 is equal to 1. So these two equations, what we do today, we add them up. So if we add them up, this, this will leave the system. So we now have 2m then plus our 6 equal to 10. Move this to this side. So we have 2m is equal to 10 minus 6, which is equal to 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So we have our m is equal to 2. That's 2 year 1 and 2 year. All right. So we'll solve our m to be 2 already. All we just need to do is to substitute the value of m into either of the equations. So let's put that into equation 1. So we're taking this as our equation 1 and this as our equation 2. Okay, so we now put uh, that we have here from equation 1, we have m plus n plus 3 equals to 9. So we're going to have 2 plus n plus 3 equals to 9. This will give us 5. So we have n is equal to 9 minus 5. So if we subtract, we're going to have n is equal to 4. Okay, so we have our m, n here. So therefore, we cannot say, therefore, we have our m, comma, n is equal to 2, comma, 4. Okay. All right, so these mark the end to so this simple math challenge, this algebra. So if you learned something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. If you have any question with regard to this video tutorial, leave it in the comment section. We are there to reply to your a comment, okay? For the comment I have not replied to, for sure they will all be replied in a distant time. Remember, this is all like mass TV where we learn mathematics all the time. Guess what? I love you. Those behind the camera, we also love you too. Thanks for being there. Keep winning till we meet in our next video. Bye for now.